I made films when I was younger. Me and my neighbors made films. There was always like creating a story, yeah, for sure. When I first started messing around with photography, I was doing a lot of self-portraits. And then I started photographing my family. I think maybe at first they were a little bit like, what, like what, what do you want us to do? Why do you want to take that picture? They're so used to it now, so they're just like, "What? okay, what do you, where do you want me to go? What do you want me to do? My sister and my mother I probably worked with the most. They're like the most willing to do whatever I ask them. The, for the A Matter of Kinship series that I did with my sister, it was like, I need you to get naked, I'm gonna be naked, and I need you to sit on my back. Like, I'm Atlas holding the world. You know, my sister's like, okay. I feel like through my photography, I've gotten to know my family really well and they have been so supportive and so awesome. I fell in love with Diane Arbus from a, a early age so I, I knew about her work in undergrad. I like the way her work makes me feel when I look at it. So I redid the images from her aperture monograph as self-portraits and if there was any other character in the photograph it was my family members. So it was sort of combining a combination of my work which was family and her work combined. And so I was, I was the subject and I was the photographer. So from that series came the Pietà series because Pietà in Italian means pity. So I felt like my family to a certain extent had taken some pity on me. I got them to hold me like Mary is holding Jesus and sort of look down on me and take pity. But unlike the, the Arbus series where I'm sort of disguised in each photograph, but with this series I wanted to make sure that the viewer knew that I was in charge of the photograph, that I was a photographer, that no one else was behind the camera, that it was really just this moment between me and this person who was holding me. I'm very lucky in that sense because I don't think a lot of people's family would go as far as my family has gone with me in this journey of photography, for sure. My mother passing away was a huge, made it, I think made a huge impact on my work because she was my main collaborator and my main support system, I would say. So since then, I've been working more alone in my studio and, and more setting up images in my studio. Sometimes I make these little sculptures or make these little still lifes and photograph them. So a lot of the objects are from, are from my childhood and these are all from my room when I was a kid. And I'm thinking about the future, but sort of looking at objects from the past. You know, I've done photography for so many years and I feel really comfortable with it. And video, it's like now I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable doing a little bit more video. The film August is about a young artist who is going through a family tragedy, but then is just like going about her daily life. So going to a family birthday party, going out to a bar, to work, artist talk and artist opening, and just sort of going about her daily life, but not really being present because her mind is somewhere else with the, a tragedy that's happening that you don't, you don't really know exactly what's happening, but you get a sense that something is. And so she's sort of quiet and silent throughout the film, and it's just these interactions that she sort of has w with other people. The first scene in the film, that's shot in my parents' house. Sophie, the actress, is walking out of the room where my mother passed away in. It was shot in all of my family's like homes and backyards. I don't think I had been back to my family's house since my mother had passed away. So it's a, it's a very personal film, for sure. Like what's next for my photography, I don't know. I'm just gonna keep experimenting and keep learning. I want it to be different every time. I don't want people to sort of know what to expect whenever they see my work. <laughs>